This video is sponsored by Santa Cruz Software. Hi, I'm Lori Rulin. I'm going to show you two little tips here that can help you format that book that might have been written over this past year. So I have a book here that was provided to me by my father, and it is one big long threaded text frame, and it goes from page to page to page. He went in and manually typed in the chapter numbers. The problem is, is that we're rearranging chapters and we're adding and taking them away. So I wanted a way for the chapter numbers to automatically update. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I'll go in here and create a brand new paragraph style, and the paragraph style, I'm just going to call it 3mm chapter number and I'm going to come down here to bullets and numbering. Now the list type is going to be numbers and I don't want any of this default stuff that shows a one, a dot, and a tab. So I'm just going to delete all that and then I'll go in here and insert in an m dash a space chapter and now here is where I put in the level or the number placeholder. And this is the thing that's going to automatically get generated. I'll go in and put another dash here. Now I'm going to do a centering alignment just so it looks a little bit better and I'll click OK. Now if I go down to the next chapter here, I will be able to delete what was manually typed in and simply apply this 3mm chapter and it automatically goes to chapter 2. Now the problem with this is that it does go right after the last paragraph. So I'm going to do one more thing to this where I come down here to keep options and tell that paragraph to start in the next frame. I could do next even or odd page but in this case the next frame works great. All right, so there is the next chapter. I'll come down to the next one here. And if I delete that text and apply that paragraph style, you'll see that it automatically applies that number three. Now let me come up here a little bit. And let's say that I want this to be another brand new chapter. All I need to do is to put in a return and put in that chapter 3M chapter, and it automatically goes to three. And the one that we had just after it now switches automatically to chapter four. Cool. So let me show you another way that we can format our book. Now I have this chapter name that is the, the name of the chapter. That's the paragraph style. And what I'd like is for that to be at the bottom of my master page. So I'm going to switch over here to the master page and put my cursor down in the footer. And I'm going to insert in a text variable. Now before I can insert in the variable, I need to define it. So I'll go here to define choose my running header and hit edit. And I want to tell it to pull the paragraph style called chapter name the first time it's in that page. So I've gone ahead and defined that. And now I'll go to my type menu and come down here to text variables, insert the variable called running header. And you'll see that it's sitting down there. And now I'll go down to my page one and look at the bottom and it pulls that paragraph style called chapter name wherever it is the first on the page. So I'll go here to this next page here and there you'll see that it pulls my parents. So two cool little tips for book writing. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website creatorepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.